here in the vaults below the Leewoods Tower in a structure which forms the abutment to the bridge and it's built with a series of 12 vaulted chambers. So there's seven at the upper layer and five in the lower layer. So we're standing in vault number five, which is actually the largest of the 12 chambers. It's approximately 10 metres high. It's got a span of about six metres and a length of about 20 metres. Such a huge chamber. The chambers are linked together by a network of tunnels and vertical shafts, which allows us to move around with some difficulty between each of the chambers. The chambers were built with sandstone, a fairly rough finish. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we go down. But just firstly, I want to orientate us so that we know when we're underneath what is above us. Obviously, we're going to have 4,000 tonnes worth of tower above us. If you look over to the barrier there, which is where you, if you're crossing the bridge, you all have to pay a pound. That money, as a charitable trust, that money goes towards the maintenance and any works that are being done on the bridge. We've got the biggest project ever happening this year, which is we're going to be painting it, which is going to take about two years. And then doing that, removing all the lights and putting on colour changing lights as well. Eventually, it's going to be like, can I have a big... Yeah. <laughs> um, I want you to remember where that barrier is over there anyway, when we go down. The other thing I want to point out, if you look at the side of this tower, it's flat on each corner, which is different from the tower on the other side, which is square at each corner. And there is a reason for that, which we will go into when we're downstairs. Fab, you remind us to talk about that, okay? We don't forget. Okay, without any further ado, we'll go down back there through the little secret door. One thing I forgot to say while we're up there, the gentleman here, Matthew, is filming for his YouTube channel. And he is going to um, film in and around the vaults. If he, um, if, if he, he's gonna try not to film if anybody doesn't want to be in it, just say to me no, and I can either blur you out or I'll just point the other way or I'll chop it. Does so, feel okay about that? Yeah, you famous, Matthew. Yeah, you, you get a few thousand views, yeah. Just don't do it <laughs> down the steps, all right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lovely. All clear? Lovely. So if we head on back, follow me and we'll go all back. The secret vault, believe it or not. Yeah. So we're actually we're actually going to go and see a vault today, and I'm called the secret vault. So yes, yeah. How long before it will be loaded up? Uh, probably about give it a week. Right. Uh, but the trouble is that I put them up for members first, yeah. and then they, it, it'll be at the back of the pile, and it'll take about a month for it to come out of there. But if you email me on my email address, yeah. I can send you a secret link which will get you to be able to view it, even though it's on members. So thank you. It's no problem. 
I've been wanting to see this for years. Yes, good. Yeah. I thought it was on the other side of the bridge. Did you? I, I didn't know it was over this side. Well, we had an inkling because we came into the visitor centre a couple of years ago, so we guessed it would be this side yep. when it said meet at the visitor centre. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what will it be, about a 20 minute video? Or a... Oh God, my video's gone for about an hour. Oh God. Believe it or not. Yeah, they're all very long videos. So what sort of other things do you video then? And underground bunkers, Corsham. Oh. Uh, you know, went to a big underground telephone exchange in London not long ago. Right. I got, we, we rappel in on uh, abseiling gear. All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And abandoned buildings. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah, a couple of times I've gone out with ghost people who yeah. want to go and see an abandoned building, but... Have uh, you caught any uh, ghosts on? We have actually caught some weird stuff, yeah. Where? Um, the, down in Torquay, there was a gentleman yeah. was filming, and as he walked around a door, something went from behind the door. So it was like there was something in the room, and as he entered, it sort of scooted out of the way, and then he's looking around the room, and you can't see anything. And the thing is, couldn't have been faked because he was doing a live broadcast. It was live. And he'd been walking around for about half an hour, and then bang, that happened. So there's that and voices which appear on the recording sometimes, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I love my abandoned buildings, old hotels, military bases, you name it. I think you've got quite a few then. Yeah, I've done a lot in Bristol. You know, they're knocking down the Grosvenor Hotel. Yeah. I've been inside there. Have you? Yeah, and the George next to it. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me at the back there in the cheap seats? Okay. <laughs> Just stop you here very briefly. For those of you at the back, you probably can't see there's a big pile of um, rocks here um, held together with some sort of spent, whatever. This was actually the launch pad in existence before Brunel's uh, bridge design was, was um, coming to life. This was to enable workers and equipment to get from this side to the other side um, as easily as possible. And so what he did was he built a suspended traveller, which is basically a big iron bar going from this side to that side. Hanging from it was a hot air balloon basket kind of thing. That you could go for a nice little <laughs> ride across. In fact, if you were an adventurous person, you could pay something like five shillings, which is probably the equivalent of about 35 foot pounds, <laughs> to have a joyride across and back. <coughs> you chose to. I think it would have been quite precarious, and it did become very temperamental and occasionally break down in the middle. <laughs> So, not specific, but it was a means of getting workers backwards and forwards, also a money spinner for Brunel, who invariably had many budgeting problems. Mm. So, we're going to head on down to the ladder. Um, behind us, we've got the vaults, above us, we've got the tower. By the time Brunel died in 1859, that was still all that had been completed. As, as you may know already, it got completed by two other engineers. Anyway, you head on down. Behind you, there's a little bit of information about the suspended traveller. So do feel free to read that as we're waiting to go on down. As we go down, don't forget, two hands on each bar, one person at a time. Watch your head, watch your steps. George is going to come to the front to help anybody. Um, well, I'm George. And she will tiptoe through the branch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, okay. A friend of mine's uh, uh, jumped off the top of this with a with a parachute on, oh my unofficially, <laughs> without permission. I, it's, they, they probably won't be impressed, you know, that I know the guy who it was. Yeah, there's been quite a few who've done it actually. Well, recently. Yeah, and there's a guy called Ali Law who climbed up with no um, safety gear on. He climbed all the way up the uh, the metal things. Where did the parachute land then? In the river? Or? No, down on the side. Yeah, he went on the side next to the road. Yeah. He's a bit of a daredevil. He jumps off skyscrapers and things like that. You went to that as well? No. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> no, he, he's had um, 
he's had a couple of accidents actually uh, yeah and his, his legs are pretty mashed up because he's got pins in his legs now so he definitely suffered for his art lucky he didn't kill himself very say hello dylan if you're watching all right <laughs> we're talking about you dylan <laughs> yeah. so i know is it you have you have it on permanent yes yeah because it's easier then i can just decide what i do and don't want later okay. on yeah, yeah. yeah it's good <laughs> yeah i'm i'm quite uh, used to filming the backs of people's heads when we're on tours because in case somebody might um write to me then and go oh, i don't want to be in it and i've got to go back over them blur them out yeah i do sometimes yeah when the ex-criminal yeah <laughs> yeah you strap that to your help to your hard hat then when you're <laughs> yeah do you get any dribble coming down on the <laughs> you do sometimes actually it gets a bit messy yeah <laughs> Yeah. So that's a GoPro, is it? No, this is a DJI Pocket 3. And it can film in lower light than your eye can see. Is that right? It's really good. We heard that, Schu you know Schumacher's got that brain injury? Yes, he's yes. He's recover from. Yeah. Well, we heard that, that he was wearing a helmet. He had a GoPro strapped to the helmet, and it was the GoPro that did the damage. Ooh, dark so, alive. Yeah. 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 He probably had film footage of the actual moment of the accident then, which I'm sure they don't like to review. No, they wouldn't. Would they? Mm. Oh, there, that's um, somewhere we've been as well. You know about the old uh, Funicular Railway, the Clifton Rocks Railway? Yes. Um, well, I wanted to go in it for years, but it's always been closed. And we found the entrance was open one day. And we went in there and a homeless guy was living in there. And we walked up to the top and uh, helped ourselves to a private tour, as it were. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's been, that was four years. I've been coming back and forth waiting for to see if we could get in there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's been sold to the guy who owns the observatory now, uh, right. so he might do something with it. Sick of vaults. I can just do it. Uh, just do what you want. 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 Do you know. Do <laughs> Invent an adventurous type. Yeah. You haven't had anybody do the ship uh, manoeuvre of putting your putting your feet over the edges and sliding down yet? Then no. I don't want to. I'm not going to demonstrate. No. Please don't. No, no. The monkey just pops in to open up with the electrons. Just you know, when you're responsible for people's safety. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Happy that you are. Ah, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Oh. So many drills here. Yeah. No, here we go then, folks. Are we going in? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Get my torch ready so we can. Do you want an even more powerful one? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I think I think I've impressed them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, where to? Yep. Yes. It's very hard to film without a good torch. How are you? Thank you much, everybody. Those no stalactites, and there are only a couple of hundred years old at the most. Those no stalactites, so they. So, okay. Are we all in? Is that yeah. the last one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Matthew, I'm going to ask you to turn that room down. Yeah. 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 Yeah
really gripe about this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, how are these stalactites? Well, when George comes in, what we'll do is we'll switch the, switch the electric light on. Ah. <laughs> this, this was closed up in 1843 when Brunel ran out of money to continue the building of the suspension bridge. It was sealed in 1843, we're now in 2024, so that's getting on for 180 years. They discovered it in 2002, so 160 years it was sealed up. So basically, it has been collecting stalactites and stalagmites of the ones that grow from the ground by being splatted on. They've been developing for 160 years. Um, the longest one is this one probably. This room is about 30 metres in height. Um, uh, sorry, that's wrong. 13 metres in height. And that one is about seven metres. Um, the room work above, and it collects the calcium carbonate on the lime scale, and it creates a little ring over each stalactite to make it grow. So every little driplet that goes through, and you can see all the driplets, um, the tips of each of those, it has dripped down as a single layer each time with the calcium carbonate. And that's how a small stack of trees can be more The lady in the front said, Is that the hole that they came down? The answer to that is no. <laughs> <laughs> that hole there, if we were to climb up through that, we would end up at the barrier. You know, we already changed ourselves at the beginning. And so that is the barrier which goes up and down with the pound. We do that. Always there. And the reason it was there twofold, actually, as an exit point from this vault to get out right, for the around. workers when they were removing all, finally, all the scaffolding, because when they did come down in 2002, there's no scaffolding in here, everything got removed and reused. So they would have got everything out of there, quite a task, pushing stuff up, I guess, and also the last workers would have been pointed out of there. But also, when they were building the tower above it, any rubble or any stone or rock that they did not use, we suspect they used it as a Victorian dumping chute because down here we have a whole load of rubble and mess that we can only surmise has come from that hole and dropped down through here. On the other side of there, it just goes a little bit deeper than this. This is a good um, slope goes a little bit deeper over the other side, but it's all, again, it is um, clad with the red sandstone big blocks on the outside that we've just passed. Somebody said at the front of the queue here, it's really thick walls, we can't see over the climbing at the top when you're on top of the abutment, and as you come through the door, you can see just how thick those walls are, uh, because they had to drill through those walls. lace stitch drilling around it and they removed the central bit which they then took back and they put into storage in case we ever need to fill it up again. That's one thing. Uh, so we've just come down, we're in chamber four at the moment. Chamber three is up there, which if we were to go up the ladders, we would find a chamber similar to this one, but higher up the gorge. So in fact, the floor of the gorge would be sort of the level of that, Maybe it, maybe it drops down a bit to there, but it would be a higher floor level than that gorge. Mm -hmm. This rock is an original gorge which has not seen daylight or sunlight for 180 years. It got Brunel built the abutment around the gorge. As we climbed up the ladder, there's all the brambles and the grasses and the whatever vegetation, but if you don't see sunlight for 160 years, it ends up looking like this. Uh, anything else? Sorry, are those tree stumps there sticking up? I can that see. Some... Yeah. It's a stalagmite. Well, that's a mite, yeah, okay. It's being dripped on and it's growing every day, slowly. <laughs> We've got more examples of stalagmites. <laughs> Five through a small tunnel here, 
Um, it's quite low. Come on, your hands are going to do and bend down. Your hands have a bit of depth or height to you. Uh, so if you do hit the cat, at least it's not your head. Uh, but just bend down, double over a little bit. We'll go through into chamber number five where we get a better, a better view. We can spread out a little bit more. Very good question. The last thing you bits are called hook logs. Put logs, is that the right word? Put logs, yeah. Put they go into the, into the stone, don't they? These were used for scaffolding and they match up with the world on the inside for when they're building the false archway. Oh, so they should build Yeah. So they built from the bottom up, they supported the archway going up, 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 and then those would be the ones supporting as they were building the top archway there. What about the bits of timber in there? The bits of timber, When the engineers first came down, they'd be like, mm, I mean, yeah. yeah. You can see they've got stalactite coming off them as well, and bits of iron bars sticking out of them. So these are called the tie bars, and, and uh, George will explain a little bit how the structure of these 12 volts is held together. And we're now using a technique, a belt and braces technique of making a strong structure, but just to double check that it is going to stay together, putting the tie bars through it to keep the structure solid. When our engineers came down and looked at them, they looked a bit ropey. Our engineers have since deemed that they are surplus to the strength of the structure <coughs> and therefore not to worry about them. Leave them in as an example of Victorian um, over engineering. Thank you. Do you know why they're called putt logs? No, I don't. Because the, the guy, the stonemasons used to sit with the wooden um, bar, things they were using. Put log in here. Put log in here. No. Nah. And you point to the hole, put log in here. Put log. No. Nah. You made that up. It's April Fool. Well, yeah. <laughs> you started scaffolding that. That's how it came about. Put log in here. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Learned a lot today, haven't we? Right, I'm going to head down first. Um, I can give you a little map so you can orientate yourself when we get through to get the time. We've got a crow's thing. Then you'll be coming to something. Yeah, what are we coming to? Thank you. Thanks. Wow. Surprised me with the lights. I thought, oh, she shouldn't put more light. In. I'll see if I help her out, you know. And uh, and then you turn the lights on, and I'm like, ah, right, yeah. That's just the dramatic effect, really, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got me to turn it off now. Yeah. They're quite good, but they get um, very hot. Those lights. They, if you leave them on your pocket, they set fire to your pocket. Yeah. Okay, we are behind these two chambers here. 
So, looking at a bird's eye view, we came in through the doorway there, past the rock face, through the arch. <laughs> Apologies. And then, so smooth. Okay, and we are in chamber five here. The red dotted line that you can see is the outline or the footprint of the tower. Okay, and we're slap bang in the middle of that, so actually it's the roadway that's directly above us. And if we are super quiet, we might hear a low rumble in the traffic. Okay, oh, you might hear it later then. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, so, <laughs> um, when you are having a little look around, you might have seen these tunnels here. Now, if you were to crawl through these tunnels, you would get to another shaft that goes directly up and down. And you could choose to turn either left or right. Depending on which way you go, you'd enter another chamber. So we've actually got four chambers, sort of half the length of this one, at each corner. So you can kind of see them like that. Again, their arch, their strongest point is directly below the corner of the towers. Okay, so remember we talked about um, on top of the abutment how the, uh, the edge was chamfered, so it was shaved down and not straight at not at right angles. Um, the working theory is that that you know, sort of is to distribute the weight a little bit yeah. <laughs> is to distribute the weight a little bit further um, across the arch shape, okay, that we have here. Um, so like I said, this was this is the top floor. And if we were to take off the cladding, uh, we have an engineer's model of what the chambers look like. So you can kind of see chamber four and five running parallel. We've got chamber five, so we're in this one, and then four chambers either side. So I, it took me quite a while to get my head around how they were structured, um, but this model really helped me um, sort of see it. The solid between them. Ah, oh, really good question. That looks like it's sort of gaps. It does, it does. Um, yes, it, it, it is. So when you, if you look through the tunnel, you can see the sort of the thickness of, of the walls. It was, it was actually built of stone, it's not yes. filled with no. spoil. No, 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 no. So uh, built with stone, um, and the width of the walls, sort of depending on where you're looking at, uh, goes from sort of 1.5 metres to 7 metres. Sort of between the arch and the sort of surface surface level. So is this the bottom of the reaction at the foundation level of these walls, or does it go down even deeper? Good question. Thank you for leading me very neatly onto my next point. If you were to look over the bottom here, you can see another sort of chimney, uh, sort of shaft. And if you were to go down there, your feet would be dangling into another chamber like this mm -hmm. below. Okay, so we don't go in there. I did have a question earlier about whether or not we've been into the other vaults. Um, I'm not safe to do that. Uh, the engineers go down uh, for maintenance and to just, you know, to do inspections and to check. And once a year, the fire service comes to do their training and rescue people at heights and from small places. So you know that <laughs> if you ever get stuck, um, sort of in a cliff or a cave, the local fire service has done their training to come and get you here. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, you're like topics. Let there be light, Matthew. Let there be light. <laughs> Thanks. So, once you're in the other chambers, there is a sort of, they're connected to the other side as well. So, going back to our bird's eye view drawing. Here, you'll see, so this, so we're here, crawl through the tunnel, choose your own adventure, get to one of these chambers, crawl out the other side, and this shaft that goes vertically, um, if you get, went up there, where would you end up, do you think? By the hatch where they came back. At the manhole cover, absolutely, yeah. So this is, this will take you up to that manhole cover, and then there's one, the other side of the abutment as well. 
So just so that you know where you are. So when they first discovered it, they basically ended up in the first, one of these two first, yeah? Maybe yeah. One problem, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very good question. If you have a look, um, when you, if, you know, once the tour's over and you, you, go, you stand and look at the abutment, you'll see the sandstone sort of facade looks like a bit, bit of a brick wall. Um, it isn't um, very, very long at all. Um, here's a sort of sketch. It's sort of shaped like a wedge of cheese or a doorstop. Um, there are two very short folds that you probably couldn't stand up in. Um, but you, what you can uh, sort of notice is that the cliff here is a lot more sheer um, and so that's the foundation for the tower whereas here you've got a much steeper slope um, and it was part of the sort of agreement that you know Brunel negotiated when he negotiated his way into winning the competition because he didn't originally win it the first time. Um, he, you know, he promised that he would build the abutment in order to shorten the span because the judges at the time didn't believe that a bridge so long um, and so high would be would be possible. So there's similar vaults on the other side, but... Well, no, so it, it, it's, uh, I think it's two. Right. Yeah? So it's two very, very small, shallow vaults um, that you kind of have to crawl in to. Uh, whereas here, we've got the luxury of this almost kind of cathedral-like structure. Um, you'll have noticed that the acoustics in here are amazing. Um, and that's because the sound isn't just kind of bouncing off the walls in here. Um, the sound waves kind of go through the shafts and into the other chambers as well. But it's not, so there's no sort of limit to that. Um, and um, in 2017, we had a uh, piece of uh, performance piece of theatre down here of Orpheus and the Underworld. Um, of course, helmets had to be integrated into costumes and audience numbers were limited. Um, and then, was it last year or the year before, in the New Music Festival, uh, we had um, some sort of, uh, we had an electronic sort of music act with a flute um, and all sorts of alternative uh, instruments um, or unconventional instruments with a, with a light show. Again, limited audience numbers, but it is, you know, sort of exciting to kind of think of this as, you know, what can we do uh, with this space? We have had inquiries about choirs coming to practice down here and things as well. Um, but what we can do for you guys here today is thinking about the resonance of a balloon. Would you all be okay and happy with enough warning um, if we pop a balloon? Yeah. So this, yeah, the resonance, the resonance pop can last um, from between three to ten plus seconds, um, and it works best if we're super quiet before. And as tempting as it is to gasp and comment straight away, if you're trying to stay as quiet as possible, um, you can see how long the, the echo reverberates. is because the, you know, we are sealed from the outside, we don't have any natural light. Um, when you look through the tunnels, there are sort of LED, LED lights that sort of mimic the natural light. Um, and if we were to turn the lights off, there is no light pollution down here. Um, so, um, is everybody happy if we do that as well? Okay. Um, if you want to see absolutely nothing, turn around that way um, and face that way. Um, can I ask you to put your camera away? Or mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so um, we've just got one, a couple more, one, two, one, two, a few more minutes in here. So um, if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, or if you make sure that you take any photos that you want, we're happy to take any photos um, as well. And then we'll, then we'll head back up. When they were building it, yes. yeah, how could they find that? How could they show what they were doing? They would have had candles and gas lamps. And I suppose the, the, the roof was the last thing to get oh, built. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Thank I'd be happy to you. do that. Do they have carbide lamps then, the, the miners, or was that a later invention? Yeah. Can I try to the back? Just to get the carbide um, oh, things in there and light them. Hazard. I know they used to use them in caution. 
Right. I thought you were going to pull that as a surprise on us without telling anybody. I was like, she's hiding over there with a the balloon. I swear she's going to just, she's going to, she's going to surprise us. You could get a few heart attacks though. Yeah. yeah. I've got a question for the scaffolding man. Okay. So when they first came down here in 2002 and they needed to explore all the other vaults and they needed to do a little bit of work on it. Uh, they need to access quite high up. What do you need if you need to access high up? And? And? Scaffold? Sorry. Are you asking him? Sorry. <laughs> scaffolding. So how are we going to get scaffolding through to the chambers either side? Well, you're the scaffolding man. You have to work this out. That's why don't do it anymore. What? Turn around, Mr. Scaffolding Man. Have a little look in the wall. Oh my God. They drilled holes. Oh, into the first chamber. Into the chamber, so they could post it through. So they could do that with the tubes, but how about the boards? Because the boards are about nine inches wide. Flood the frame, I suppose. Yeah, that's about it. Well, who's going to see it? Well, no, we've got boards on the end. But you could just climb when you build it. You, you only need it to actually explore. I guess there's different problem with many boards or the yeah. short. Well, you probably only need to relatively short. But you didn't do any wide tower. You didn't do any tour. They did. You didn't do any tour. Put it with the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see down there. Do you want to look? <laughs> Is that a good sight for you? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, did you all have a did you have a picture taken? Yes, thank you. So is that good quite yeah. the other chambers? Yeah, can you use your Sli slightly you slightly blocked. Bit, yeah. It's slightly blocked yeah. at the end, but you can see down there, yeah. Oh yeah. Let me have a look. Rubble at the end, but yeah. Oh yes, yeah, a bit of rubble at the end, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Look, you don't forget the drill in there too. That's a great torch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, about 150 quid, I think. We yeah. had some kids, they were looking through with their phones, uh, with their torch on their phones, and yeah. they were convinced there was a dead mouse at the end. Oh. But it wasn't a mouse, was it? It was just I don't a bit think of stone. So, no, it just looks like stone. Yeah. I'll go home now, and there'll be a go ghost of a mouse on or something on there. bats or birds or anything able to get in for 160 years that's why the stalactites were so well preserved mm. because normally no air, no, in no, air, no there, there is a slight bit of air actually no, no, no wind but no wind um, no spiders in fact wow. there's a slight bit of wind can you see the jiggle of the stalactites Yeah. You can buy it for twenty five pounds. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it twelve or thirteen point five? Uh I think it's either twelve or twelve point five. I can't remember. So it's exactly. a little bit lower than caves then. Is that right? They're caves 13. are obviously uh, well, okay. sorry, a lot of them are thirteen point five, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. know that. No, I was told twelve or twelve point five, I can't remember exactly, but definitely it was a twelve. Okay. <laughs> right. If you're all happy and no more questions, we'll make our way back up the ladder. Is that all right? right? Thank you. <laughs> it's the start of stalagmite song.
<laughs> right, oh, sorry. Drills. Stop yeah. and start. Uh, I think Pip out there. Pip? Yeah, she's at the top. Yeah. Yeah, she's got. Oh, she left the bag. Excellent. Yeah, she's she's got the keys. <laughs> right. <laughs> huh? What have I done now? Uh, I don't you can't. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's because of how small the water is. It's right down the side of there. Yeah. Yeah. It's squeezing through here. Oof. Bit nasty. No, no, no. It's cold. Did you use the water car? It's breaking. Oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> Do you take turns at doing the uh, the balloon? We do. Yeah, I was wondering whether they dubbed you Pip. Pippa Popper. But. <laughs> oh my god, who'll be there? Alright, Oh, you've done that before, it didn't bang your head. A couple of times. Yeah. I always bang my head at the first morning. Yeah.
Well folks, that was it. You've seen inside the Clifton Suspension Bridge. We've flown over it in the past. You've seen people jumping off it. <laughs> We've walked across it. We've done a ghost hunt on it. And now I've gone under it. And if you want to watch a ghost hunt, uh, I think it was with Claire. So, Urban Paranormal Oxford. Check her channel out. And uh, yeah, interesting place. So, uh, if you like that one, don't click like. If you don't want to see any more of these videos, because you think it's utterly useless, click subscribe.